Really quick before we start, I am trying out a different lighting setup today. Let me know if you think it looks better, the same, or worse than it usually does. So let me know in the comments down below please, because I, I don't know for sure. I can only see it from my side and this is not an accurate representation of how it looks. So if the lighting is off today, I apologize. But I just wanted to try this. Okay, let me know. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing a Shot My Samples update and I will say this past month there was like a week that I didn't do anything because I was sick um, and so that I feel like this is kind of a mid-range month because that would have normally affected me. However, I actually started to do my skincare routine and do you know what happens when you do a skincare routine? You use up skincare products. So I'm actually pretty happy with the progress that I've made in this round um, because it could have been a lot worse and I did end up using up several products. So good, good. Let's jump into this. If you are new to Shop My Samples, what this is is a project pan and basically I go through my sample stash and I pick out 10 samples to use and then I use them up and it is a rolling project pan. So once I use them up, I roll in new ones and we use up as many samples as we can every month. This is round 14. Um, basically, I'm going to go through 1 through 10, let you know the samples that I used up, and if I would purchase the full size or not. That's really the big kahuna here. And then at the end of it, I will give you an update on my sample stash. So let's go. I need to redo my nails um, like really bad, so ignore them please, because that is what I plan on doing next. All right, so for number one, we had started this round with the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. It's starting to get written off. I did finish this off. I used this as a nighttime moisturizer. It's pretty good. I would definitely continue to use it as a nighttime moisturizer because it is on the thicker side and I prefer to use like SBS or thinner fat formulas for like daytime moisturizing. I did like this. I think that, I think I have one more of these too. I think these are getting a little old. It's still fine. Like I can still use them and they do a decent job, but it seems... A little off comparatively I'm not 100% sure it was good though when I purchased the full size I don't know I did like it but I don't think I don't think it does anything extra special for the price it's, it's a ceramide cream you can get that for a much cheaper price I love Sunday Riley and some of the products 100% I'd repurchase but this one in particular meh. I could take it or leave it I used that one up and then I brought in this. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. I have heard so many just raves about this. Everyone loves this, okay? It was nice and moisturizing and thick and rich. It did feel really nice on the skin. Um, I will say I don't fully get why every, cause I, this was hyped up. I mean, I kind of get it though. It was good. I would purchase this in the full size uh, once I use up some of the other ones that I have. It was really good and it did take me by surprise because I didn't expect it to be that good. The, just the hype around like a, a night cream, I'm not super used to seeing. Maybe I just don't pay enough attention to like the skincare realm, but it, I mean it was good. I, kind of, I get it. I get it. And then I actually just finished that up a couple of days ago. Um, so I'm bringing in the Wishful Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer. I've only used this a couple of times thus far. So this one will be going into the next round. Also, just in case you didn't know, I do link everything down below. So if you want links, they are down below. I do make a small commission from most of them, but that doesn't charge you anything extra. It just helps support me and this channel. So you don't have to buy from those links. If you do, I appreciate it, but you can also just go to Google and like search the products and bypass the links if you'd like to. Okay, back to number two. Um, I started this with the Georgette Klinger Collagen Elastin Mask. This is, um, okay, <laughs> this is so funny to me because I, so I started with this and I put it on and I was like, this is a clay mask. I don't know why, but in my head, I was like, this is a gel mask. It's not, it's a clay mask. And I'm just looking at the back. I had looked at the directions to figure out how long I should leave it on for, but I didn't look at like the little description. And the description says collagen and elastin infused clay based mask. So I should have known. Um, however, I did not like this. It burned. I did use it, okay, but it burned. And I don't feel like it did much. So I would not repurchase this 
but that was also just the reaction to my skin if I didn't have that reaction my feelings may be different I don't know it says that it's for combination dry and sensitive skin I don't even have sensitive skin so I don't know why I had a reaction to this but I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase that one uh, when I used that one up I switched to the pure lease matcha green tea and lemon detoxifying charcoal mask I love pure lease as a brand but again this mask burned and I know that they're not expired okay I am paying attention because there are some products that have been expired in my sample thing that I've had to toss out and I've mentioned this before but I'm really concerned about moving on to the makeup because the makeup samples I think are some of the oldest samples that I have but I know that these aren't expired so I don't know why again I had that issue but I did and I've tried a couple of their other masks that have worked a lot better this one was just not for me and I'm wondering if it's like a different skincare product that I'm using that's causing that reaction because I did a bliss mask last night and it went fine and so I'm wondering if it's like a the charcoal or clay mask that's kind of setting something off I don't know no but I, I'm, I'm I'd be willing to like retry these in the future but I don't want to pay for them so like if I get other samples of them I'll use them but like do you, do you see what I'm saying I don't want to buy them but I'm not necessarily like writing them off but I brought in the glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask I'm pretty sure I have this in the full size oh my goodness do you guys ever get those products that you put them on and you're just like this is going into the next round. I cannot wait to share my thoughts with you. So far, I'm loving this though. Okay, for number three, I started with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I was using this in the morning time, you guys. So I had a couple of these and then a couple, I don't have any more, this is my last one, of the other one, not the Dewy. Do you know what I'm talking about? And I could not decide between the two of them. I really can't. I love them both. It's such a good moisturizer. I feel like if the day ever comes where I use up all of my moisturizers and I need to buy one, I might buy this one because I really do like it. I have so many moisturizers now though that it's like that's infathomable. But I do really like this and I would definitely purchase the full size at some point in the future. It's so good. I would just want to find it on sale. Like can I please just find it on sale? That would be great. I finished that off and then I brought in this Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This is going into the next round. I've been using it for a few days now. So next round for this one. For number four, I started with the Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you'll know that I'm trying to switch to like all cruelty free. As far as I know, my makeup and like skincare and hair care and everything, the switch has been made. Some things do slip through the cracks. Um, I'm not perfect. <laughs> but one of the things that I had a ton of that were from non cruelty free brands was shaving cream because for whatever reason and I've done a lot of like looking into it and for whatever reason so many of the drugstore brands of shave cream aren't cruelty free and so back when I made the switch I couldn't find anything that wasn't like $20 a bottle I have a couple of cruelty free ones to try now the tree hut shave oil one from truly and one from lush and a couple of other ones um, so I managed to get this flamingo is the brand of razors that I use and I have talked before I love them they are some of my favorite razors that I've ever tried you can get them at Target you can, I believe you can get them on Amazon I'd have to double check but they are so good I love them and I know that they had a shaving gel the full size is $4.99 which it's about on par with drugstore brands you can get it at Target and so this came in like a little set I want to say from FabFitFun I don't know and so I tried it because I was like, well, this is great. And now I can see if I like the Flamingo one before I buy the full size. You guys, I still plan on trying the other cruelty-free ones that I have once I use up my non-cruelty-free selection. But this shave cream is great. I feel really preachy about the whole cruelty-free free thing right now. I don't mean to be. Uh, that's, it really doesn't matter. This is amazing though I liked this a lot it very much reminds me of the Skintimate brand which is primarily what I've used my whole life and it's about the same cost too so fabulous I still want to try the other ones but this one strong contender I probably will end up purchasing in the full size over time and time again I finished that off and I brought in the Tatcha pure one-step Camilla cleansing oil I've been using this for like 
two or three weeks now. Almost empty, but not quite. So this is going into the next round. For number five, I had started with the Orabe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. I love this hair care brand. They are insanely bougie expensive though. Um, so I might have this in the full size. I don't know for sure. I don't like buying them at all, but I do when I can find a good sale. They make some of the best hair care products that I've ever tried though. This dry shampoo and the texture spray that they make are some of my absolute favorites. Yes, I purchased this in the full size. Like I said, I think I might already have it in the full size, but make sure you shop the sales because you can find these on sale pretty easily and full size is outrageous. So after the dry shampoo, because that was from before I did my reorganization of my sample stash, I switched to the Patchology Restoring Night Cloud Mask. Uh, so this is a sleep mask. It smells so good, you guys. Okay, I have lots and lots and lots of thoughts and opinions on this. Um, I'm about halfway done with it, so I do plan on being done with it by next update. I'm going to save my thoughts and opinions for that update. It's good, though. Okay, my, I'm excited to talk about that. For number six, um, this again, if you've been watching, this is a Derma E hydrating eye cream. I, for whatever reason, put this in my sample stash. This is a half of an ounce, which is the size of a full-size eye cream. Uh, so because of that, it is taking me a lot longer to use it up than I thought. However, I have been using it and I have been doing my skincare and it is almost empty, you guys. So this is going into the next round, but how much longer? It can't. This will be done by, by the next round, by the end of the next round. I'm so excited about that because I'm so tired of using this. But unfortunately, it's not quite done yet. So there's no updates in that category. Number seven, I, I started the round with the Sugar Rush Cake Butter Whipped Body Butter. Um, I haven't finished it yet. No, I haven't finished it yet because uh, I have been getting lazy with the body care but I am going to try to incorporate that now that I'm actually doing my skincare I'm going to try to incorporate the body care into that and do it at the same time so hopefully we'll see some progress on this this one was kind of my flub of the month though uh, but this will be going into the next round for number eight I was using the Grace and Stella Rose Spray Hydrating Facial Spray this is my last sample facial spray you guys my facial spray collection because they're very popular on like subscription boxes and things like that is pretty decent right for the full sizes and I have spent the last like nine months using up little sample sizes this is one of the reasons why I cannot stand sample sizes because I didn't care about half of them I ended up decluttering a good portion of the ones that I had anyways this is the last one I wouldn't repurchase it because it was just this is like a rose spray it's like water with like a rose scent it didn't do anything for my skin and I understand that the main point of these is to be like hydrating but I really didn't do anything. I don't mind the rose scent though. I'm one of those people that I, I kind of like the rose scents, but I wouldn't repurchase. There's other ones out there that actually do things for my skin, but like you can tell, I can feel a difference. You know what I mean? This, not so much, but I will say I am so excited to finally be done with an entire category of samples. There are other categories that like I finished up, right? But this one in particular, because these take so long to get through, even these little tiny baby bottles, so excited. Um, so I finished that up and I didn't have any other facial sprays. So I grabbed the Terra de Mars Variance Eye Contour. This is very fancy looking. I don't know much about this brand. I've only been using this for a couple of days now. I am using it in the mornings, obviously, because I'm using my Derma E at night. But I am using this in the mornings. This will be going into the next round. And there's not a lot of product in here. Like, I expected this to last me a good couple of weeks. And it's almost empty already. There's literally like a few days worth in here. So I mean like yay, but also I feel like there should be more. For number nine, I started with the Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura Zensational Foaming Shower Gel. This is in organic rice milk and cherry blossom. I love these shower gels. They smell so good. I love the foaming aspect um, and I've purchased several of these in the full size. I've gotten them in subscription boxes. I actually went through a phase where I was going through quite a few of these. Here's my thing. I won't repurchase these again. And this one was kind of a straggler. I don't know why. I don't I don't know where this came from, but this one was kind of like a straggler. I won't repurchase these again. I am too childish for them. Okay, because when you think of like, okay, like think of kids bath products. 
a lot of the shave gels and whatever they can is in foaming canisters because it's fun and kids like it and it's fun. And no one that I know buys those because the kids sit there and foam it all out, right? I, I am a kid. I end up using so much more of this than I need because it's so fun. So I, I'm so stupid. I won't repurchase this because I can't control myself and I end up wasting so much of it. So no, I love these though. If you have not tried these and you have more self-control than I do, I strongly do recommend these. They are fabulous. All the scents are so good and they do work really well, like as a, as a shower gel. But I finished that off and then I brought in, and I just finished that off. So this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Body Oil. I haven't tried this yet. Um, this is a tiny but I will be taking this into the next round. And who was it? Indy Lee that inspired me to do a body oil and then a body butter. You guys, if you do that, my skin has never been so moisturized and hydrated. I love it. So that's what I've been doing and it's going fabulously. So hopefully that works out well. Number 10, um, I had started with the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. This, it feels very one note. Um, like it, it, it is hydrating because you're putting a liquid on your face. That's great. I just don't feel like it did much of anything else. So if you just want straight up hydration, great. If you want literally anything more than that, this is a no go. And I will be honest with you, the Grace and Stella brand, I've heard lots of rumors that don't really paint them in the best light. So maybe it's just subconsciously I have a really hard time trusting the products. I did use this. It went fine, um, but I just don't feel like it did a whole lot, so I would not purchase that in the full size. Once I finished that off, I pulled in the H2O Plus Gel Cleanser. This also will be going into the next round. It is almost empty, so I'm starting off the next round with a couple of like newer products and so many almost empty products. I'm so pumped. Okay, we used up a grand total of 10 samples this time. Not the greatest. I'm not breaking any of my own records here, but it's not terrible, especially since I did take like a week off um, of doing pretty much anything. And I'm excited to finally be using some pockets and guarantees. I know that I've been using them up, but like this, I feel like I'm on, I feel very motivated and proud of myself. So shush it. I'm pretty excited. So I'm gonna give you guys a little update on what the bin is looking like. So I have two bins. One of them is chock full of makeup and hair care and perfume samples. I showed that in the last Shot My Samples update and it literally hasn't changed because I haven't touched it because I'm trying to empty out this bin first. So I'll link the last Shot My Samples update up here if you wanna go see that bin. But it's also really fun. But this is the bin that I'm currently pulling samples out of. This has skincare and body care in it. So that's why all of these samples are skincare and body care related. This is all we have left. So, and I want you guys to really focus on this. Like there's a few of these like bigger samples, but there is also a pretty decent amount of foil packets and foil packets we get through really fast. So like more and more and more, a whole bunch more. So I'm really hoping that this will be, that this bin will be finished up by summertime. I have like, what, three months left? I'd be really surprised if this isn't, but that's my goal is to finish up this bin by summertime and then move on to the makeup, perfume, and hair care bin, which I'm very nervous about. I have a feeling it's gonna take a really long time, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is what we're doing, okay? Um, yeah, so this is the bin. That is my update for this time. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the lighting situation. Is it better, worse, or the same? Let me know down below what samples you guys have been using up, if you've been focusing on samples, anything you want. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button below me. If you'd like to see more of me, I do this video every month. I do many other project pans, get ready with me's, hauls, etc 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 lots of reviews i actually am starting a new speed review series that i'm really excited about but i'll talk more about that later okay thank you so much for joining me here today i'll catch you guys next time have a great one goodbye